All right, back again, working on the wiring, and uh, I'm probably not going to re record every single step and every single connection, but I did want to get a shot of uh, soldering up the main power coming into this thing. So I have my power lead, I have my ground, going to my little ground bar, I have the common, going to common, and what I have to do is I have to feed the the line or the, the hot, I gotta feed the hot into the fuse, then from the fuse over to the switch and from the switch to here. So let me just uh, try to attempt to show you how I am gonna do this. So I have a, this is a 30 watt, yeah, this is a 30 watt soldering iron. And the first thing we're gonna do is tin up some wires here. So I'm gonna tin up some solder on my, my lead and I have a really really fine piece of solder here so go through it pretty quick and yeah I'm gonna put a generous amount of solder on there and I'm gonna take this other wire right here put some solder on it Right, so we have some solder in there. I'm going to put some solder on the connections of my fuse, which is a little harder to get the solder to stick to that, but it will eventually. There we go. Okay, then I'm going to take this and fish it through that piece of shrink wrap. And I'm going to take that, fish it through the shrink wrap. Now I'm going to try to stick this all together without burning myself. So, let's see how that goes. I have a feeling I'm going to burn myself. Let's see. Okay. Do this one. Okay, as you can see they are both stuck together, really nice, just test them to make sure it's not a cold solder joint, and they are not. And then what I'm going to do is slide, hopefully, this piece of shrink wrap over all of this. And what I'll just do is I'll grab my, my uh, little lighter here really quick and I'm going to going to shrink wrap that. So, let me just get my lighter. And I probably should use a heat gun, but I don't have a heat gun. So, I'm going to use my lighter. And uh try to get this thing to shrink. That's good enough. So I like to do that. That way when I'm working in here, I don't accidentally bump that with a screwdriver or short something out. Just make a nice safe connection. So I'm gonna go ahead and work through the rest of this and we'll take some more shots here as we go. Well, I think we're ready to give this a test. So, fan spinning. And inside, look at that, we have stuff lit up. <clears throat> so
cell. This is kind of like, I guess, what I would call like the preliminary wiring. I'm really not, not at the point where I'm really working off this wiring diagram yet. I'm kind of getting ready for that. So we have the power coming in at the top of the box. We have uh, power going to our uh, dual 5 volt, 24 volt power supply. Obviously we have power going to the Acorn. Have this here, this is a place to hook up all my commons. I had to add this, I kind of forgot. I have a whole bunch of 24 volt connections, so this is a place to connect all that 24 volt stuff. Down here, this is where I'm gonna power all the drives. I haven't powered this yet because I don't think I'm supposed to put power to that until the motors are connected, so I don't want to damage it. But uh, yeah, I think, um, I think we're ready to move on to the actual fun stuff now, the actual wiring. All right, thanks a lot.